All right, Richard in the building. Yeah, All right, my guy. Yeah. So you 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 calling from from New York? That's where you from? Yeah, yeah, from New York. Okay, okay. Born and raised up but there. What, what part of the what, what part of the city or boroughs or island you you partake in? Yeah, I'm from the Bronx, New York. But uh, I've been there, born and raised. Uh, we have been there most of my life, but I've been out in Pennsylvania the last two years. So you decided to move yeah. from New York to Pennsylvania? Why Why you make the move? Yeah. Um, I just wanted to get out the city, man, and uh, just uh, it, it's just a better place. You know what I mean? Uh, better environment, stuff like that. You know what I mean? More affordable, you know, just much better all around man. with the way New York City is right now. Man, I'm I'm hearing those brownstones and those apartments is 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 in a range of two thousand, <laughs> three thousand dollars just for a room. Is that true? Man, that's true. That's true. And it's not even worth it, not at all. I did not even worth half of the price they charge and it's just It's like yeah. the ba- it's like the bathroom, kitchen and and living room is all yeah. in it's all in one inclusive room. Yeah. Yeah, ain't Bro. no telling what you're gonna see when you walk out them doors either. Wow. Well, I I I've been to New York a few times. They, it it is true that as a tourist, we we only go to the tourist destinations. We go to Times Square. We go to the the what do you call it? The fashion area or whatever, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But out yeah. but outside of that, it's like dingy and dirty and crazy is it is is it's like that in real life bro some parts i'm gonna say 50 50 it's, it's real nice though so, and it's, it's a mixture it's, it's a mixture of nice and and bad well, let's get into it man you uh you reached out to me via via email you say you had a a, a story to tell about a uh, state Express, but they go up under a different name now, or what? Yeah, State Express. They still use them, the, the trucks. Uh, say State, State Express on it, but it also says Michael's Quality Transportation also on the door. They just changed the name? They merged, or what What was what was going on? Um. I don't have too much knowledge on, on on why they did that, but uh, it looks like they just changed. I don't, I, I never heard of uh, the other one, Michael's Quality. They use that in some situations. They will use Michael's, and then, but they will hire me under State Express. So that's kind of that's crazy. Like how VL Trucking this automatically manifested into Ace Trucking. <laughs> it's oh, crazy. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So State Express, I I, I did yeah. a made the call video to them. I think what last year, maybe year before last, something like that. But I'm 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 sure yeah. since the last time I talked to them up until now, there has yeah. been some changes. So you 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 have you have a story to tell about your experience there? Yeah, I do. I do. All right, go ahead and go ahead and talk to us. The floor is yours. What can I get you? I'd like a large coffee. Okay, so hot coffee? Hot coffee. Okay, room for cream? Totally leave room for cream. All right, so... All right, I didn't know that, uh, that as a company driver, that I would be, pay, be responsible for blown tires. So I didn't know this until I got to orientation, and I, and I was told this. So um, I didn't think it was that bad of an idea when they told me. So I went along with it, and um, I, I guess I thought, like, I can't blow too many tires. And if I do see a tire getting bad, they allow you to, to go back to Illinois and change it. That way you don't have to pay for it at their yard. But I didn't expect to blow this many tires. Uh in a short amount of time after I started with them. So I was only there for 90 days. And um, so uh, the first couple months, uh, or the first week, 
I started, I, I blew a tire or two. And, um, uh, yep. And then, uh, the next one, I just kept blowing tires. They were, it was summertime. They would send me to industrial places, uh, where it was rough. And the tires wasn't, they weren't brand new. These wasn't brand new trailers or brand new tires. So they was, they was, uh, pretty much used, recaps. And, um, yeah, they were blowing, they were blowing quick. And, so after the third tire that blew, I kind of like had enough. I was like, look, I, I, it's only but so long I'm going to keep paying for the tire because they would charge about $400 for, for these tires if because I, I would blow them on the road and I, can't, I couldn't make it back to Illinois. And I didn't really sign up to be running back and forth to Illinois every time a tire gets bad because I was, you know, everywhere east of uh, 35. So... That wasn't my plan. So when I blow them on the road, uh, I would try to get them fixed at the TA, and uh, I would I would get them uh, replaced at the TA. And so after, uh, like I said, after three t- about three tires, I told them about it, and uh, they kind of took it as I was complaining. They called me into the office, and. They would kind of act funny with me from there. They would say, this is what you signed up for. They, uh, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to work with it. I, maybe it's me. You know what I mean? I'm going to try to keep, they told me I should keep an eye on my tires more. You know, I am still pretty much a new driver. I've only been driving two years. So I said, all right, let me try to, let me try to figure it out and, and work with it. And, and maybe I could stop this from happening. So often, so uh, end up blowing a couple more tires after that. Uh, they was just gone, man. These tires was bad, and then so I finally was like, you know, I can't, you know, I can't keep paying four hundred dollars per tire every time. So um, I told him, I said, look, uh, I'm about to leave. I may be leaving, and um, this is on a Friday. I was at the Illinois yard. And another driver I spoke to from the company, he he told me that I shouldn't, I shouldn't leave. Um, so he kind of convinced me, basically, I should stay for a little while and, and figure it out. So I'm like, you know what, All right, I'll do that. This is after I told them already that I'm going to leave. So I guess they took it as I was going to, that they knew I was going to leave. And I guess they were tired of me uh, complaining about it. But uh, after that, that was, this was on Friday, like I said, and then my payday was Monday. So I said, let me just try one more week. So I ran another uh, load that weekend until the till Monday, and I waited for the uh, to see if I get paid, and that's when I noticed uh, the payment stopped on that Monday, and. You know that that that's where it went bad, and um, you know they uh they told me that it was an error in their system, but I knew they had stopped the payment because I had told them what I had told them that I was gonna leave, so I guess they had just instantly went and stopped the payment and didn't you know reverse it when I told them I would try to stick with the company for another week or so and see how I go, so they they didn't uh. They didn't pay me that 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 Monday, and um, yeah, that's how it pretty much ended. Uh, I, I dropped the truck at the TA. You know, I was already in Pennsylvania with that load, with that last load, and so I, um, that's when I talked to them. Like, look, I didn't get paid, and it, you know, they told me, um, you know, I just have to keep running, and I'll get, I, they'll get the payment back to me, but. I just I could I didn't have it in me just to keep running and uh you know I knew I knew what they was doing at that point they they was kind of fishy. Yeah. I I get you man I I I don't know if I if if I can keep it up either I mean once once they tell once they start messing with the money it's it's all downhill right. from that uh, you you tell me that my money yeah. is not coming because of a of a system error I I, I would probably say okay. All right, but 
you we 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 talking about thousands thousands of dollars here. It, right, it gotta be right. it gotta be something. You gotta cut me a, you gotta cut me a, a, a T check, a com data check, something. Right, and right. and and get that system back up and running because I, I don't understand why a lot of people out here would continue to drive for companies that's messing up their their checks. And when a company right. tells you right off the rip, we, we, we can't pay you this week because of a system area. It's time to look for another job, bro. So let's go right. ahead and unpack all of this, man. So 90 days, yeah. uh, you've been with the company yeah. three months. In three months, you blew yeah. five tires? Yep, five tires, five tires. Uh, five yeah. tires times 400, that's about $2,000, bro. And they was... They was taking yeah. that. They was taking that out of your paycheck. Yeah, they would take. They would take one fifty per check. Yeah, so I still had a balance of that from that. Wow. Um, I think I might have paid off maybe two or three. Wow. So uh, that's like so. So this company is, it's ten ninety nine or W W two. Yep. 1099. So, 10 so first thing first, you you go into orientation. You thinking everything is good. Yeah. You think you about to make some money, just like the rest of us yeah. do. And exactly. they, they they hit you right off the rip that if you blow a tire, it's your responsibility. Like, who does that? Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that's that's what they yeah. told you. Like that that that's how the orientation went down. That's what they tell you orientation, and, and um, I've seen faces on on other uh, guys in the orientation, more experienced drivers, and they had a problem with it. And I and I, you know, being me being an, a newer driver, I'm like, you know, I just it can't it can't be that bad, you know. I can't because I've been with other companies before that, and I haven't blown tires like that like that often. I think I'm thinking maybe once, twice, maybe a year, or something like that. I don't know how often this usually happened, but it, yeah, with that 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 trail I had. Um, so you came in as a company driver and not a lease driver. Company driver. And, company driver. Yeah. And being that you're not a lease driver, you're not leasing the you're not leasing the truck or anything like that. But a company driver, they they made they made the tires you guys' responsibility if you don't get it back to the if you don't get it back to the yard. Yeah. How yeah, is that? So. How is that possible? I mean, if you blown a, a tire, how you you gonna have to get the tire fits before you get it back to the yard? That don't right. make no they sense. When you see it start, yeah, I don't. I don't make no sense at all, post. man. So I I guess what the community is gonna ask is, did you yeah. do your proper pre trip? Well, I did. Do some. I did do my pre trip, but uh, maybe not as not as often as I should have. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna lie about that. Um, I was just running, you know, <laughs> to be honest, and uh, yeah. So you wouldn't have known any improprieties with 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 the trailer tires or your or your uh, drive tires because of the of the. Of the not doing the pre-trip as much. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't think I needed to to do it as often as you know as as I should have because um the the tires weren't that bad like to wear down that that quick like I would check them one week you know and then at the start of the week and then uh, three days later these these tires uh that tire was gone you know. Well, I'm I'm going to give you a little bit of advice, dear driver. You 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 might want to do your 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 pre trip a little bit more often, especially dealing yeah, with yeah. dealing with black yeah. ops companies. Because if somebody was to tell me right off the rip that the tires is my responsibility, yeah, I I think I would probably keep a closer eye on the wear and and the condition of the tire. Right, right, yeah, no, nah, I'll take. But it's a learning, take. it's a learning experience. It's 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 a learn, it's a learning experience. All right, all right, you 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 got with them, and you was like, hey, look, all these tires blowing. 
I, I, I can't keep paying you guys four hundred dollars, man. Come on. And they, and they came right. back and they came back to you like you just complain and just just keep driving. That's that's what they came yeah, to you and say. Yeah, he said, "Why you?" <laughs> I remember him saying, "You, why, why am I giving his dispatchers a hard time?" <laughs> because, uh, yeah, because I uh, complained a couple of times about that. It was like, "This is what you signed up for," so this is what it is. Um, you know, you got to do your pre-trip better. He did. He did tell me that. Um, but you know, I know at least one one of those times it wasn't. You know, I had a big hole in it. Uh, this was from the industrial place that they sent me to. They had a bunch of stones on the ground, and 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 something went through there. So it was just like it wasn't like a like a a worn tire. So stuff happens. I mean, the stuff stuff happens, man. I mean, I got a. I had. Well, let me see. I had a steer tire blowout in Florida. And many, many, many drives and tandem tire blowouts. I I was never I I was never made to be responsible uh, for that. Of course, I do my pre trip and everything. But of like like I said before, things happens out here. I call my breakdown. Say hey, I got a blowout. They'll send somebody out there to repair it. Yada yada yada. And I'm back on the road again. Only time I see that I'm made responsible for anything if I was leasing the truck. And I I can understand that I'm responsible for the truck because I'm leasing it. But in your case, you're 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 a 1099 company driver and they they kind of like forcing you to be responsible just for the tires or what was you made responsible for everything going to truck? Why are you talking like that? Why are you talking like that? Because this is my voice. This is my voice. No, it's not. I heard you talking a minute ago. I know you don't talk like that. Neither do you, because nobody actually talks like this. Just for, you know what? Uh, they say just for the tires, but anything that messes up on that truck, yeah, yeah you are response. Yeah. So they they did actually say that, like anything else, but mainly the tires. All right. In the background, we was talking in the email. You mentioned something about mm-hmm. not getting your escrow. So they, they was right. taking the escrow out on you too. How how much how much how much was the escrow and what they was and how much they was taking out on you? Okay. So the the, the full amount of the escrow was one thousand, and they took two fifty each check from the uh, the first four weeks. All right, and, and being uh, that you've been there for ninety days, so you pretty much paid into the escrow. Yeah, yeah. So, so why not? To- why well, why not? You you paid into the escrow. Why not them uh-huh. just taking the taking the initial eight hundred or the initial right. thousand, and just take and just take that and just. I don't know. Call it right. a day, I guess. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. That makes that makes more sense. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Uh, but no, uh, they end up not paying. I, I they they hold one one week back. So that Monday when I was supposed to get paid, uh, I was owed two checks. Uh, two checks, which was uh, at least two thousand. I'm not sure how many miles I ran both weeks, but but at least uh, twenty five hundred miles or better, uh, twenty five to three thousand. And uh, so they were both uh, at least uh, two thousand dollars, and the escrow was a thousand dollars. So I just. Uh, they they, they they hold a they 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 got a check in a hole pretty much yeah yeah so we yeah. looking at so you you you've been there for 90 days out of all the 90 days how much you got paid total by them? total in, in the 90 days uh oh, i didn't 
I didn't I, I didn't uh, get that information together. But it, it Well now just ballpark. Uh I would say uh, on a weekly basis, I would say about 18 to 21 a week, something like that. Within the 90 days, you you got some decent paychecks, but you just didn't get you didn't get your yeah. escrow in 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 the last week. I'm assuming the last two weeks. The, the last, last two, weeks. two weeks. Okay, so yeah, the yeah. last two weeks of the 90 days, you 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 didn't get. So you're so you're maybe about give or take about three thousand dollars in 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 the red with them. Uh, or in a black? Is it in black or is uh, it red? Would, in the I red. I would say about five, because I would say each check was at least two, uh, two thousand dollars. Uh, okay, so the last. Okay, so uh, two thousand for the one week, two thousand for the next week, and then your one thousand dollar escrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So you figure five thousand dollars. You figure maybe. Uh, couple of maybe maybe I'll I'll say a upwards of maybe eight hundred dollars for the tires and everything. Right. Uh, so right. we still looking at about a little bit over two thousand dollars that they still or a little bit over three thousand dollars that they owe you. Yeah, yeah. And I mean I did leave the truck I mean I t I cleaned it out. I made sure everything was intact the way they left it and I live about five minutes from the truck stop so I was keeping an eye on it. I, you know, I waited for them to come to come grab it. So, so I did. I did uh, break that agreement. You know that they had. Uh, they want you to turn it in, in order to get their escrow. Okay. Okay. So, okay. I want to say you you abandoned the truck, but you let it them know where the truck was at though right did right did you get comp did yeah. you get confirmation from them as far as it it was okay that where you left the truck at um i didn't get like i didn't get a confirmation but they didn't pay me so i just couldn't um i just could not drive it back to them. i said how you how you want me to what do you want me to do if i'm not if i didn't get paid so i had no choice kind of that's how i felt that that's fair. That that's fair. I mean, you, I mean, bro, you you you're out of you're out of five k right now. Like when they, right. I mean, I, I I get you. I I would feel some kind of way too. Like you want me to bring the truck back all the way back to yeah. Illinois, and then I gotta find a way back to get home, and you still owe yeah. me some, and you still owe me some money. I I get you. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead. Drop this truck. I'm about 10, 15 miles away from home. The truck is at yeah. the TA truck stop. Keys is in there. Trucks cleaned out. Yeah. Pictures and everything. You send them the pictures yeah. and everything. Yeah. And you 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 type in there and let them know where's it at and everything. I mean, they could still say abandonment, but I mean, it is what it is, man. I mean, I, I would always yeah. say never abandon the truck, but when it's strange right. circumstances such as yourself, you you out of five thousand dollars, bro. That's yeah. right, right. And it's not like they did, they didn't even ask me. It's like you know, I bring the truck. We'll make sure you get paid. Even though I want to trust them at that point, but uh, they just said, okay, um, you know, you're gonna leave. You're gonna leave it at the TA. Like they were like, all right, we'll come get it. They just, you know, they didn't even attempt to, to keep me as a driver. They were just like, oh, well, like, that's it then. Well, like, if, you, if you get caught up or hemmed up in any other situation like that, make, make sure you get confirmation. Make sure you get that in writing. Right. Um, these days, everything is digital. So make sure you test it. Make sure you have them to respond to it, either email or testing. Make sure you have some type of digital footprint as far as it as as what they said what they said because you can go to the next company and they could probably put it on your dac tone about oh well yeah you abandoned right. the truck and and you could you have have the digital footprint saying nah that's not true they know that the truck was there and they gave me the okay to leave it right 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 
All right, so you so you bounced out at a at a TA truck stop and call it a day. So you say you uh, you tried to call them right. to see if there was anything going to be given to you. Was 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 you able to get in contact with them? What what was the uh, what was the outcome, if any? They they told me if I bring the tr they said uh that I was they want me to come back over there and sign a uh some type of uh, release form, I believe they called it, um, of the truck. They said they got they were, they got the truck back, and uh, I just had to come sign a release form in Illinois. And um, so uh, that's what they told me. So I said, you know, I live in Pennsylvania. You know, I'm not going to be, I can't make it to Illinois uh, right away. I did call them about a month later. I was in that area. I gave them a call and they and they said that um uh, no do you know what they they told me before that she told me uh, it takes about ninety days she told me wait no thirty forty five days that's what she told me forty five days and then I'll get paid and also the safety guy he told me I would get paid also he said oh don't worry about it. we're gonna get you your money how so long was, how long ago was that that was uh I, that was a week after or a couple of days after. You know, they, they got the truck back, which is about a week after I, I left. Uh, that's when that happened. Uh, this, so this is around uh, September, maybe August, September. And that time. Wow. And, uh, like, but to this day, this is like the end of November. You you, you yeah, still yeah. haven't seen no money from them yet. No, no, no. Because uh, when I got over there in that area, uh that's when they told me, uh, oh no, you um, we can't give you anything because uh, uh you didn't sign a release form, and um, well, they they couldn't they, like they, that, they, you know? they couldn't send it to you via email, like they 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 right. they literally right. want you to come from PA up to Illinois to sign a release form that they could just simply email. Yeah. That 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 sound kind of it sound kind of fishy to me. I mean, it's I mean I I would assume it's it's the same form that you would probably sign before you got. I mean, when you got on doing orientation. So why right. why do I need to why do I need to take time out of my schedule, out of my time yeah. to come up there and exactly. sign something that yeah. you could just send me via email. Right, right. If you just don't want to yeah. pay me, just say yeah. you don't want to pay me. Right, right. Don't waste my time. And that's why I felt after a couple of times calling them, I felt like they was just uh, giving me to run around. So I, I, I felt they didn't want to pay me. All right. So what? what what's the, so State Express out of Illinois? State Express. Yeah. So just because I talk like this means they don't give a shit? And what exactly am I supposed to not give a shit about? That's an excellent question to ask yourself in your actual voice. Excuse me. Some of us would like to order. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, Richard, I mean, Richard, man, I mean, I, I, I would take this as a learning experience. I mean, yep, I, I hate yep. to... I I hate to see that they didn't give you your money and they played you pretty much, but... I mean, right. I, I would going forward. I would take this as a learning experience, man. So this, this yeah, what you'll do? Definitely, yeah. It's my first and uh, last time running up to Illinois and doing something like that. I, you know, I thought that would, uh, I thought that would be a good thing, but it, you know, it wasn't. Richard, <laughs> again, man, I, 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 I hope that this, this. Uh, this was a teachable moment for you. Definitely, yeah. definitely make sure that you keep do a little bit better on your on your pre trip. But as I said before, man, yeah. things things happen, and and and, and to be yeah. and to be hemmed up for for blown tires, something that will happen, something that will happen out here on the road, and get hemmed up for it, four hundred dollars a pop. Man, that's that's a lot. That's a lot of money. And then being told to just, oh, don't worry about it. Just keep on driving, and and we'll we'll pay you and not pay you. That's 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 not right. cool in a sense. So, 
man. So, man, I, I appreciate yep. you coming on and sharing your story with us, man. Thank you very much for that. Where you at? You yeah, you no at problem. a you you at a different place now or or what what's 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 going on with you now? Yep, yep, I'm at a new place now, yep. Uh Napa. I'm with Napa Transportation and Napa's pretty good. The run, the boat, the back of tequila, mix it all up and I swear that I need none of them. I'm a pocket if it ain't about the wild and